Hello, how are you? What cartoon show won Emmys? Yeah. Hey guys, Gencom42 here, and in today's video, we'll be talking about episode one from Super Mountain Fort Awesome. Title, Teleporter Party. The show is considered one of the worst cartoon shows out there other than the problem solvers of course, well that and Caillou. However, it actually won two Emmys and people actually liked the show. Someone said it in it, not me in it, but... The episode starts off with Festro, the purple disgustoid, ordering pizza. And I just have to say, they all look disgusting, especially the what doll. What the doll doing? Those dirty liars said 30 minutes! Anyways, the crew consisting of Festro, Fart, Dingle the Dog, Gwilock, and Slog ordered pizza, but it takes too long due to the fact that they're monsters and humans don't like them. So the gang decides to use Gwilock's toilet teleporter to find pizza trees. Before I continue, can I just say how funny it is how the Disgust Stories have a picture of Ronald Reagan in their house? <laughs> While traveling, Festro has to go to the bathroom to take a shit, and he ends up flushing the toilet, teleporting it away. They end up finding a dimension where monsters are ruling. <laughs> it's ruled by a monster with a giant dildo helmet. Hey, bro, hand. Love what you got going on here with monsters in charge and everything. Yeah, I could get used to a place like this. Perhaps an eternity in my dungeon will teach you to respect helmet law. They all are arrested. While in prison, they come up with a plan to get back home. Their plan is to find a nearby toilet and pimp it out into a teleporter. However, the problem is, only the Dildo King has a working toilet. To Anyways, right when Fart is about to confess really something, they're saved by humans. The humans take them to Gandalf the White, who tells them of a prophecy. There is toilet. There is only one toilet in this land. Oh shit, the way Whitebeard picks up Dingle and starts speaking through him scares the shit out of me. Anyways, the humans have to pee and it turns out the disgust stories are prophesized to defeat Dildo Head. Gimme! Use your telepathy! <laughs> Why does Gwilock have to slap Dingle like that? You know that's animal abuse, right? Somebody call Peter, please. Anyways, Dildo Home and Dildo Dog, I mean Devil Dog, was watching them do the toilet the whole time and they prepared to fight. Once the humans and Disgustoids group up to attack, they're interceived by the Dildo Helmet's army and Festro gets eaten up, so the humans run off. They killed Festro, our fearless leader. That guy who comes into my bedroom at night and stares at me. What does Festro do while you're asleep? Festro! Anyways, the disgust always single handedly defeat Dildo Man's army while Festro escapes T Rex Face's stomach confronting Dildo Man. Festro is getting beat up by the Dildo Man, slap for slap. You may be a monster, but you're no better than those jerk humans back in my own dimension. What could a jerk human do this? Where it turns out the dildo helmet is really an oven for helmet man, pizza head. Bad idea telling Festro. <laughs> the rest of the gang finish up the army and locates the toilet in dildo man's fortress. However, the humans end up invading to use the toilet with Gandalf personally talking. You have saved our people. Now get out of the way so we can tinkle. That shit scared the hell out of me, I'm not gonna hold you. The Disgustoids are about to leave thinking Festro died, but are instead met with Festro fat ass trying to reach them. Okay, everybody, on three. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna give you some pee pee. I'm gonna give you some one, two, wee wee. Miraculously, they are able to retrieve him, escaping the human piss bukkake. Thus, the episode ends. Well, that was an awesome secret sneak peek. Definitely worth the two Emmys. All in all, I would give the Secret Mountain Fort Awesome show 8 out of 10 dildos. I definitely think that this show is underrated and the humor is absolutely hilarious. But then again, you are talking to the guy who loves Uncle Grandpa. So take that with a grain of salt if you go like. Also, if you can please smash that like button and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And then in the next video, we will be concluding season one of the Problem Solvers. So if you didn't watch part one, the link is at the bottom. So yeah, see ya.